does programmatic TV mean to you and what is it, what's going on at Media Man? So we try not to say programmatic TV, we try to call it automated TV, just there's a lot of historical um, nuances in the word programmatic that we're kind of shying away from today when it comes to TV. What does automated TV mean? It's automating any one step out of what a traditional TV buying process would look like. Um, historically, there's 20 to 30 different steps, everything from the buy, the insertion order, the trafficking of the spot, the measurement, all happening behind the scenes. We're aiming to automate as much as possible about that while tying back an exposure and an impression to an outcome. So being able to access inventory in a connected TV environment, like through a Sling TV, where we're seeing more and more consumers turning to that as opposed to their traditional cable system, in those cases, everything is 100% addressable, 100% measurable. So connected TV definitely is the low-hanging fruit for what we're doing in MediaMath today. But we know that within the next three to five years, all living room impressions are going to become one-to-one -one addressable and targetable through the rise of IP video. So we want to be well positioned to be able to play in that space as well. And how much media is biddable, in other words, in OTT? Just sort of your observation and where that might be going. As an overall you know, percentage of the $72 billion spent in traditional TV a year, maybe 3.8 I think the number is 3.8, is uh, transacted on programmatically today. Um, we think by the end of next year, it'll be closer to 10 billion. A good portion of that is gonna come from traditional digital video budgets, but a good portion of that is also gonna come from TV budgets. Um, recently, eMarketer revised their forecasts to show TV spend actually declining um, come 2020. Uh, and that's because the way eMarketer is measuring it is they're calling connected TV OTT as digital. So yes, everybody agrees the way people are watching TV has changed, the way people are transacting in TV has changed, but the dollars are following the viewers towards IP delivered video, either in premium web and mobile environments or on the larger screen in the house. So tell us how you work with the sellers, the MVPDs, the programmers, and, and others, and sort of, you know, what do you bring to the table? So we believe that our role in the connected TV, OTT, advanced TV ecosystem is to be the connection point between buyers and sellers. So we're not going in and reselling anybody's inventory. We're not going in and arbing inventory. We're simply the system that allows marketers to connect with supply sources, the supply sources that they know how to buy from. So we've kind of cu we've curated our list of supply sources that we do most of our transactions with down to, say, the top 20% of supply sources that drive 80% of the meaningful impressions that marketers are looking for. So that includes five network groups. It includes the three big virtual MVPD services out there. And we're sourcing inventory from them, knowing that the inventory is 100% fraud free, 100% in view, and measured on a cost per completion basis. So there is no need for third-party verification metrics or v-paid metrics because there is no fraud in connected tv and there's no fraud in connected tv through media math because we know where we're sourcing our inventory from we're never more than one hop away from the end seller and tell us about the buy side about the people that you take care of uh, that that the demand side and sort of what their expectations are and how that's changing and maybe mm -hmm. categories or expectations and pricing. yeah um, the categories that we work with are, are it's everybody across the board. Um, our pitch differs depending on who we're talking to. If we're talking to traditional TV buyers, we're telling a story of reach and frequency. We're telling a story that a TV buyer would understand and making the case on why now is the right time for them to start shifting a portion of their TV spend to the same inventory and the same viewer model and the same screen that they know how to buy on, but doing it in a smarter, more measurable way, taking traditional TV dollars and running the spend across connected TV and OTT. When we're talking to digital buyers, we're telling the same story, but we're telling it a little bit differently in that we're, they know already how to buy audiences, how to buy measurable impressions, how to buy retargeted campaigns. So it's for the first time a digital buyer has the ability to transact on the biggest, most trusted screen in the house in a way that they know how to do it and a way that fits into their business model. And finally, um like you've been involved with the advanced TV world uh, for a number of years with Canoe and others. Um, how do you sort of characterize where things are now in terms of consolidation, consumer preference, uh, kind of where we might be going? Yeah, um, you know, for the last couple of years, people have been saying 2015 is the year of TV, connected TV. 2016 is the year of connected TV. 
Um, I think I just read one that 2018 is going to be the year of connected TV. Um, we're there. The biggest pet peeve of mine is when people say, like, we're getting there. We're there. We're there at scale. There's 65 million households that are using some sort of device to access premium video content in the living room. Um, for the first time, more than 50% of, of video starts being delivered on a connected TV device are ad supported. You've seen the viewer viewership change. You've seen people embrace it as their primary source of control of content. And you've seen these devices take over control of HDMI 1 on the TV, which is the most important thing to control. So no longer is a Roku device a way to get Netflix on your TV. A Roku device is your way to get TV. And uh, where do you see things developing for Media Math over the next 12 months in the TV space? I think Media Math is going to be leading the charge in tying back actual down funnel attribution to upper funnel branding metrics. Being able to say the first time a viewer is exposed to an ad campaign or a brand's message should happen in video. Whether or not that's web, mobile, tablet, or TV, video is the best way to tell that upper funnel branding story. But that doesn't get you all the way there as a marketer. You still want to be able to find that household, find the users in that household, and tell a down funnel story to drive attribution and actual action on the right screen with the right message at the right time. And that's really what Media Math and our cross device graph and our audience targeting is able to do.